Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and I'm back with another Game Strategies video. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick one by the time I edit it down, and uh, <laughs> may, it may seem somewhat pointless, but uh, this is just one in uh, what will probably be a, a series of videos where ultimately my end goal here is to come up with a way to uh, compute the cost of doing a particular crop for any given field and part of that cost that we have to consider is the equipment that's used to do the work right so you know plowing cultivating seeding fertilizing harvesting all the equipment that goes into actually doing it and depending on what equipment you use that can impact the cost of doing that work and so I need to come up with a way to actually test different combinations of equipment to see if there's any efficiency differences between them, right? Like, can I basically say plowing the field costs this much money or do I have to say, well, if you use this tractor and this plow, then it's going to cost this much. But if you use this tractor and this plow, it's going to cost this much, you know? And, and so the, these first couple of videos are just going to be a couple tests where I do some comparisons to see what really would impact the cost of doing these different activities. So in this particular video, uh, what I'm trying to test here is whether the rated horsepower that you're using is going to have a big impact on the performance of the activity. So in this example here, we're going to plow field 14. And we're using the Amazon, uh, uh, is it the Kron 200? And that plow in the store says it needs 180 horsepower. Now, you can run that plow with less than 180 horsepower. In fact, this the little tractor there on the right, would be on my left in the tractor, but the, the little Fent, uh, that's uh, Fent 313, so it's got 138 horsepower. So it's actually under the rated horsepower, but it is able to pull the plow and it just can't do it as fast, right? So then this tractor in the middle is a Fent 720 and it's rated at 200 horsepower, which means it's rated slightly over the requirement for the plow. And then the big tractor there on the left is the Fent 939 and it is rated at 390 horsepower. So it is uh, more than double the required horsepower for that plow. So I'm basically going to, uh, the field is currently cultivated over there, but it needs to be plowed. So I'm just gonna run this first, the, the Fent 313, and I'm gonna record uh, how much fuel it uses, and I'm gonna use a hired worker to do it. And I'm not worried about the little jagged bits of the headland or anything like that. I just wanna know from the time that I hire the worker to the time that it ends, you know, how much did I pay the worker? I'm not necessarily gonna record how long it takes because how much I pay the worker, I'm pretty sure is directly correlated to that. So uh, if I hire a worker for all three jobs, then if one job's more expensive than the other, then obviously that one probably took longer. So that's kind of how I was thinking about testing this. I mean, feel free to leave a comment below if you think my methodology is not quite there. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how to really go about getting these numbers, so I figured I would just screw around with it and see what I come up with. And then, so after each tractor goes, I'll actually reload the game and then run it again. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here with the this one and I gotta bring up my HUD so I don't need course play well um, I need to write down right now my fuel is at 207 liters and I'm actually gonna fast forward time here there we go because it'll, every hour, right, it tells me how much wages I've paid that hour, so that's kind of a good way to keep track of it. So, 
We want to unfold this. And let's see, we want to turn the plow. And we got lined up here. Lower the plow. And hire the worker. Uh, hire the worker. There we go. Alright. Now I just gotta follow along here and see how long this takes and how much money I wind up paying the worker to do the work. Alright, so we're down to 194 liters of fuel. Okay, so the uh, Fent 313 here took 13 liters of fuel and the hired worker wound up costing us $916. So now I'll reload the game and run the test again using the 720. Okay, so we're back here in the game. I reloaded it and now we've got the Fent 720. And I've uh, got everything ready here to start plowing the field again. And I just need to write down my fuel start here is at 397. We'll hire our worker, and off it goes. All right, so we just finished plowing that field with the 720 here, and our fuel usage was actually 22 liters, so that's nine extra liters of fuel that we used. But our wages paid was 786, which means we saved $130 on our wage payment. So I did notice that while going uphill here, it was still struggling, especially over here on this end down there, it was still struggling to get up to nine miles an hour. So it wasn't able to easily reach top speed. So I could see where there's probably still a little potential room in there for the next tractor, the, the 939, to be able to actually do that a little bit faster. So I'm gonna reload the game, come back in, and we'll give the next tractor a try. So I've reloaded the game, I've got the 939 hooked up to the plow, and we are ready to go. So we'll lower the plow, drive forward a little bit here, and hire a worker. And our fuel is currently at 596. Okay, so, using the Fent 939, which has basically twice the horsepower that that plow is rated at, we wound up using 33 liters of fuel, which was 11 liters more than we did using the 720, which is the mid-tier tractor. Uh, but we saved $13 in wage payment. So, the advantage of having a adequately sized tractor over an undersized tractor is pretty noticeable that $130 savings the advantage between having a drastically oversized tractor isn't quite there uh, I could see if if you had a really hilly field like this field's relatively flat 
Uh, but that is one place where I noticed it. And this, that corner over there, I guess that's the uh, northeast corner over there. When it's heading west, going up that hill, the mid-sized tractor you could see was still struggling to hit nine miles an hour. This tractor here, the 939, had absolutely no problem getting to nine miles an hour. Like as soon as it started after it dropped the plow, it was doing nine miles an hour. So if you had a hilly field, then I could see where having a, a significantly overrated tractor uh, would, would help with your speed. But generally speaking, more power was better though. I mean, it, it was, the fastest way to plow it was with the most powerful tractor so kind of an interesting result it gives me something to build off of and like I said earlier in some of my videos to come I'm gonna do some more comparisons and I'm just trying to figure out how exactly to account for the cost of plowing and cultivating and seeding and harvesting when determining how profitable it is each crop type is for each given field so Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? That helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.